Oh boy, I'm so thirsty after a long day work. Let me just grab some water. Oh, nice. Sweet water. Welcome to Medieval Engineers. So as I can see, I can see, you can see, I hope. I did build myself a little uh, swinging barrel, bucket, I should say. And it goes down and up. Of course, there's no water underneath. There's no water in the game. But it kind of gives impression. I just need to put it down to stop swinging. <laughs> it works pretty good. I made it with planks and timbers. Just has a rope pipe plate on top, connecting with a rope. And it kind of gives the impression of a, of a bucket, you know. I think it, it, it's pretty okay. So, on this side, I planted a few pumpkins. I collected a few pumpkins around. I grabbed myself some more iron. I got the cabbages going. I got the wheat going and the flax. That's pretty cool. Here. Still pretty much the same. I got this thing for the ores. I got stone storage here. This is going to be probably like a storage uh, area. And here is going to be the blacksmith stuff. So I still haven't planted anything. So let me see if I can just grab the few big smithies and put them right here. And the flex just popped up. But I think I'm going to grab the one that I have on reserve. I'm not going to plant that thing right away. Because I believe I got some here. I got mushrooms. There's the flex. I'm going to bring a little bit because I need to do linseed oil to complete that quest. Because I'm not sure, but I think this is the quest that you have to do to unlock the big smithy. And that's what I would like to put inside that thing. So I'm just, I already made four jars over there in the kiln. And now I'm just going to go up here. I'm going to put this thing inside. Oh, it's flex seeds. Gotcha. Let's just make one. I'm not sure how many I need. There you go. So let's make... Is it... Oh, it wears one for each. Okay. Gotcha. There you go. I got the 49 ingots, which I collected in the tropics region. That's very good to get iron. There's iron all over the place. That's an awesome place. Linseed oil. Okay, so the linseed oil is crafting. I still have another quest to do. Which was... I, w I was hiding it. If you press this eye, you can hide it from the hut. From the screen. And you don't cancel the... The, the quest. So I need four linen string. And for the linen string... I believe it's also here. Uh, no, it's not here. It's on the weaving thing. Yeah, I got the flex with me. I believe the weaving thing is right here. What do you call this? Uh, a, a crafting weave thing. That's nice. So how many I need? Four. There you go. Let's leave some more flex here for later. 25 should be good. Maybe a, another little bit. Okay, so I got... Oh, so now he wants me to do the banner workstation. Pretty good. I changed another thing in the settings. I had no travel limitations. I To allow me to fast travel wherever I want without any sort of limitation. So I put it on again to see if actually it spawns uh, barbarians because that's one of the reasons that will limit the, your ability to fast travel somewhere if there's a barbarians on the on center region i don't think you can actually fast travel there so i'm going to try to see if that helps so five steel ingots oh for the steel is what two iron and three charcoal and charcoal is one log. I also brought some palm tree logs right here because I'm not sure maybe I'll be able to craft something different with it but for now let's just do the steel ingots and there you have it I got the 
the, the five ingots. So now he wants me to do a forge. Let's see where the forge is. The forge, the forge, the forge. Like a big fireplace. Uh, maybe. Uh, is that a forge? No, that's an oven. Mm hmm. Forge. Always a problem to find anything in here. Or oh, maybe it's on this one. Let's see if there's something new. Doesn't seem to be. So it must be on the workbench. There's a furnace. Where the hell is the forge? Hmm. Oh, there it is. So it takes five. So let's take a few things out. Uh, he's got the timbers, he's got the linseed oil, the smithy, and the ingots. And I guess that's it, right? I craft it. Pretty good. So I'm actually gonna want like three of these. So, let me take this one out because it's not required. Let's put some more timbers, it requires one log. I'm gonna have to do more linseed oil. Definitely. And some more steel ingots. Ten more steel ingots. I'm not sure if I'm gonna have enough. These are the iron ingots that I got currently. So I'm gonna have to burn some more charcoal. Well, let's do it. And there you have it. I have all I need to do. Two more of these. So let's just put another log. And do another one. Pretty good. Sweet. So in terms of ingots. Now I only got three iron left. That's fine. I can get some more. So, I also have to do a banner workstation, which I believe is right here. Yeah. Uh, I don't have a place for it yet, so I'm just gonna build it to unlock it. There you go. Configure. Nice. It's done. So, I've unlocked it. So I'm just gonna grab it again. And now he wants me to craft one steel hammer. Which I'm not sure if I'm gonna have enough for. So what am I missing? Oh, the timber. That's right. So let me just do some timber here. Pretty good. I can start the linen string, which will definitely be very good. So, for the hammer, it wants me what? A steel hammer. Is it here? Must be on the anvil. Probably. So, let me just. Uh, yeah, I had the, the timber. Let's put it in there. Is it enough? No, let's put more. It's fine. Okay, that timber can stay. I can also leave this, this metal parts, could be useful to something else, and we'll log. That's fine. Pretty good. So I got myself three forges. That's pretty sweet. So let's place them down there. And uh, add some more to, the, to my factory. Oh here, let's see, what would be a good place. It's kind of snapping now. So the front seems to be this one. I think I'm just gonna put it like one here. One over there in the center. And uh, yeah, the door. Yeah, it can stay right here. Maybe pushing this one a little bit to the back. There's a nice light down there. I think it looks cool. Nope. I just rotate it again. Uh, yeah, so the beam is a little bit to the side. Nice. Yeah, pretty sweet. And this one could be a little bit better too. Let's just put it nice. Right from here. Kind of like here. Very cool. 
that's a nice station and then i'm gonna add boxes i'm gonna try to close this off right here i don't think i'm a very big fan of how this is looking right now but that'll be for, no for another time for now he wants me to craft a steel hammer so let's see where it is a hammer copper iron a steel hammer so we require timber which i don't have and another linseed oil goddamn linseed oil man and it's quite unlucky because i only have one iron ingot and i need two to make a steel ingot and i need another steel ingot oh man so let's just see if i manage to go right here with travel limitations Oh, there's iron all over the place. Nice. I think this must be iron, right? It's not. This red. It's not iron. Okay. Gotcha. Let's go around and see if there I can find... Out. That's really not iron. That's weird. I'm kind of in, in a valley. That's gonna be a little tough to get out of here. Let's see. I still have a lot. Of, I don't know what actually you pay because I still have the same exact food as I had before. Maybe they took it out of my boxes. What I had in storage, I don't know. This seems to be iron. Let's see. It'd be nice to not fall from here. Oh, maybe that color was the indication that was iron underneath. But I had to dig a little bit. Yeah, so I'm gonna dig a little bit. Uh, and probably go back again in fast travel. Because it's just fast. And let's see if I manage to do a little bit more iron ingots. Oh yeah, let's pass through my gate. Oh, maybe not. Maybe from this side. Oh yeah, sweet. <laughs> So I got myself the iron, I came back, and I'm gonna smelt it. And since I'm here, I should be smelting on the place to smelt the iron, right? So what I'm gonna do is actually use the things. I got them, so I put the ores here, I go upstairs, I turn around, I bring this thing up, which is the other way around. And there it is. I grab the ores from the box and I put them in the furnace, which is right here, which has no fuel. Nice. What? Now I should be able to do it. I mean, I only needed one more iron ingot. That's pretty nice. Let's also put the, the stone down. I believe I have some storage for big stone. Uh, probably outside. It's full, it's full, and there it is. Nice, okay. Let me just douse. I don't like to waste fuel, you know. It's done. Let's let's just leave it. Now we go downstairs. And the ingots. Oh, it's upstairs, the ingots. Oh, but I need charcoal. Oh, man. I, I didn't plan this accordingly. I believe, yeah, I got some charcoal. I think it's enough. It's three for each ingot. So let's just bring three. Later on, I'll bring more. Uh, maybe it would be a good idea to have really actually have a storage for logs, since I need logs to make charcoal here. So, yeah. There's a steel. I'm just going to make one. And save these two ingots for other things. Nice, so I got my steel ingot. Let's go downstairs. Nice. So do that steel hammer. The problem with the steel hammer is that it I believe it will require. I will not be able to smelt it down. I think I think I'm gonna have to just make another one. Let me check. Can I actually smelt uh Oh, I can smelt 
a steel hammer, but I'm not gonna have the linseed oil back, that's the thing. So I can actually get the ingots back, the steel ingots, but I'm gonna still have to craft linseed oil to do another axe, that's the thing, that's the difference between the bronze and the steel. But for the sake of it, I'm gonna use it, because it's a new thing, and I definitely wanna use it. So okay, the, this thing is coming along. I think I should also start grabbing a lot of iron and uh, all kinds of ingots to make so to make this these tools because I already placed this this uh, symbols right here. This is like a store. In case you didn't see my previous episodes where I built this, this is a store where the 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 blacksmiths sell their stuff. This is gonna be full of clubs, full of swords, and it's gonna take a lot of uh, metal parts to do all of this. So I'm gonna have to grind it out a little bit. But in the meantime, the farm is coming along. And I was thinking about starting to do a lumber mill. A place for all the wood. On this side, there's a nice forest, a nice supply. I could make a building kind of like here, almost uh, in front of the, of the blacksmith factory. And it would be kind of cool to automate it doing a windmill to cut down logs into timbers, I believe there's a way to do so. But I'm still gonna have to unlock it, which should be on the K uh, uh, menu. I don't think it should be this one. I, I have everything unlocked, everything that I started I finished. Nice. So maybe civil engineering, so this is all completed. Oh, civil engineering is completely done. Nice. So it must be here. Mechanical grist mills, milling speed and efficiency. There you go, and mechanical sawmills, sawing speed. Yeah, this one must be the one that I'm looking for to be able to cut down logs automatically. I just have to fill it up with the logs and it turns it into timbers. I'm not sure if you can actually do also planks. This must be to make flour and possibly other things, I'm not sure, but it's gonna be pretty fun. For now, I'm just gonna park everything away, organize a few things, and start planning for the, for the lumber mill. Also that is also in my plans, is to do some sort of way to collect all of this and, and plow it uh, faster. I had this idea of making like a truck, but I think it's gonna be really hard to make a tractor. Um, but even just a simple method to just push something to collect all of this would be kinda nice, because at least this part is kinda big. Uh, even this side could be useful, it's, it's the same size actually. So I'm gonna have to think about it. Maybe not on the pumpkins, because it's just a small place. But, oh, and that thing is still swinging. <laughs> Let me just put it down. I don't like swinging buckets. I like them to be still. So the other way around. Nice. There you go. Like all the water. Where you, where you belong. Pretty cool. So the lumber mill. I don't know how big it will be, but I can think I can start a kind. I could have used my my super cool door, but I think I can start to at least planning it out, lining it up. So this right here it makes like a big hill. I already have this thing on the corner, and I kind of offset. I wanted to offset it a little bit. I don't want it to be symmetrical in any kind of way of shape as you can see my house is over there, the barn is over there, the thing is here. So I think the lumber mill should be kind of like here, almost in between these two buildings. Uh, this is kind of a flattish area. So let's start planning it out with wood. Okay, so this height doesn't seem to be too bad, let's see. I can bring it over to the street. Yeah, here it's a little bit uh, low. So maybe... 
trying to raise it up a little bit. So it would be nice if it didn't snap right away. Maybe like this, let's see. The alignment. I uh, could turn it over a little bit. I think it would make kind of sense to have it lined it up with the street. So let's try to do it again. Uh, this angle should be easier. Well, I could just line it up with this. Yep. Because this stone seems to be pretty okay. So I guess it's lined up now. Is it? It makes a slight curve, but that's fine. I think like this should be good, but when it snaps, it's going to look... yeah. So let me just rotate it a little bit and try to place it again. Like so. No, don't snap. Let's try to find... oh man. <laughs> I could always make some little stairs just to come in. It doesn't have to be. Okay. I still don't know, have a clear idea of a shape, size, because I haven't I haven't uh, used the um, this lumber mill thing. But this is gonna have to have storage. It's gonna have to have a place. Uh, probably also making a little store. Maybe to the side to also sell some wood items. I think it would be kind of cool. But to start, yeah, that's fine. It can overlap a little bit the street. That's that's not a problem. Let's just take an overview. Yeah, it's coming a little bit too much. I think I'm gonna redo it. Yeah, I think like this is better. It's a little high, but on this side it's high too. I don't think that's going to be a problem. Later on I can just remove this line and add like stairs on the parallel to the building. Like I did uh, the ramp on the back side of the factory. And here it goes down a little bit. That's fine. Right now I'm just trying to, uh, to set lines to kind of give me a starting idea. And I'm gonna have to remove these trees. I figured this should be a, like a big building. And uh, let's bring these things down. The hammer, the the axe is still a, a wooden axe, uh, a wooden axe, a, a copper axe. Maybe coming to the, in this direction. Not getting hit by it would be nice. They do kill you. I died the other day, getting on a tree. I was just standing right underneath it, and it hit me right in the foreface. It was a little painful, but I managed to recover. I can only see from the right eye now. Uh, yeah. So, looking straight ahead, it's kind of hard to judge the distance, but uh, it, it, it works. The other eye still works, so that's fine. Okay, so I got myself some more room. Let's take this thing out. More sticks, sweet. Let's see. Let's just grab this tree right here. Oh, oh boy. It's kind of hard to, to run and jump in this game. Let's just bring this one down. Sweet. It's kind of nice that this axe doesn't cut down. It takes a lot of swings to actually cut down this 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 thing. So what were we looking at? Yeah, it's kind of a big building. It's 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 on a weird position even still. <laughs> I think before you could be you should it maybe it was better. I think I'm just gonna redo this thing again and just line it up with the blacksmith factory. That seems to be the best thing. But for now, it's looking pretty damn good. I got a new hammer. I also have uh, an iron uh, pickaxe. 
and for the next episode hopefully i'll have something to show right here and i'm gonna continue to do this but for now thank you for watching and until next time